Insert the USB thumb drive into your Mac. Click on the spotlight search window and type the word disk. When you see the shortcut for disk utility appear, click it. Select the USB drive on the left. Click on the Erase tab. Make sure the format is set to MS-DOS FAT and then click the Erase button to format the USB thumb drive. Go ahead and quit out of disk utility when the format has completed. Head back to your account page at presonus.com and click on the Download Latest Firmware button. Open a Finder window and navigate to the Downloads folder. Double click on the downloaded zip file to extract it to a new folder. Double click the USB device to create a window to show its root directory. Highlight those five update files and drag them directly onto the USB drive. They need to be on the drive and not in a folder within the drive. Eject the drive when completed. At your Studio Live AI mixer, hit the system button. Next, we want to navigate to page 9. Use the page down soft button on the lower left to do so. On this page, you will see the current firmware version number of your mixer displayed. If the Wi-Fi dongle is connected to the mixer, remove it. Take the USB thumb drive that we copied all the update files to the root directory onto and insert it into the USB port. You will need to count to five. For example, one Louisiana, two Louisiana, three Louisiana, four Louisiana, and five Louisiana. This will provide enough time for the mixer to see the thumb drive. Push the Recall Soft button on the lower right to check for the firmware update. At this point, do not power off the mixer. This step will usually take 20 to 30 seconds. Please be patient. When the firmware update complete message appears on the screen, it's time to pull the thumb drive out, power off the mixer, insert the Wi-Fi dongle back in, and then power the mixer back on. The mixer is now loading the new firmware. Again, please do not power off your mixer as it's updating the control surface firmware. The LCD screen will now go dark for a while. Do not be alarmed. This is to be expected. The display will come back online. At this point, hit the system button. Go back to page 9 again using the page down soft button on the lower left. Now you can double check the new firmware version number that's been loaded into your mixer.